Es ist soweit, liebe Freunde. Ein mega Trailer ist rausgekommen zu F1-23, obwohl ist es wirklich ein Trailer zu F1-23, denn es geht hier um Corner Spot Racing Team. Es wird vorgestellt und ich hoffe, ihr seid auch gespannt, so wie ich es bin und äh, ich habe mir gedacht, äh, wir schauen uns das jetzt hier gemeinsam an mit einer Live-Reaction. Äh, ich bin sehr gespannt, was ihr darunter schreibt. Lass uns reingucken, was passiert hier? Hallo Erstmal und welcome warm und sicher. To the launch of the all-new Corner Sport Car. One of F1's no, most anticipated shift. reveals for some time. We've already seen the Red Bull team with Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez dominating the podiums. And what an astonishing start Alonso is having, pulling Aston Martin into contention. It's great to see Fernando doing well. Of course, you can never write off Lewis Hamilton and the Mercedes team as they move through the gears and start picking up points. And with the new team coming to the party as well, it's going to be exhilarating stuff. I just cannot wait for how this car is going to perform. But now it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to our all new car on the starting grid for F123. This is Connor Sport. Oh, okay. Das ist mal gespannt, Leute. Butler haben wir gesehen. Connor Sport. The car will look great on the grid. Let's see how it performs on track. In Devon Butler, they have one of the most exciting drivers of the modern era. Competition is welcome. It's great to see another team on the grid. Now joining me is Malawian-born Red Bull Racing content creator and Twitch F1 sensation, Dirk Chocolate. Now this man is already a legend with vast experience in F1 and motorsports, both in the real and virtual worlds. His new role with Red Bull showcases racing and talent across social media. Please welcome the Twitch sensation himself, Dirk Chocolates. Ah, that's what they're in the middle. Welcome. It's fantastic okay. to have you here with us today. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I've been following your Twitch commentary this season. You've clearly been quite revved up about what's been going on. So tell us, how do you feel about this season so far? Yes, it has been an absolute quality season so far. Um, the Red Bulls have been absolutely dominant and I've been loving it. Devin Butler is now driving for Connor Sports and that is so exciting. He's a cocky and mercurial talent, but we know that he has a massive potential to go along with that massive ego. Now, what are your feelings on that? He certainly isn't shy about um, coming forward with his opinions. He's quite abrasive with his style. He's quite an aggressive driver. You need a little bit of ego and that aggression in Formula One. So that's how you get to the top. Right. Now, unfortunately, Connor Sports star driver is headed for the track and cannot be with us today, but we do have him on a call. Hello, Devin. Hello, That's a top battler. Hey, Dirk. Well, thank you so much for taking out the time today to call in. How are you feeling about the switch to this new team and this new car? Listen, it's great to be in a team that believes in what you can do and is uh, just <laughs> smart enough to get out of the way and, and let me do what I do best. I won't lie, it's been hard work bringing them around to what I like to call the Devon Butler way of doing things, but we're mostly, mostly there. And uh, yeah, ready to hit the track. <laughs> Now, how do you feel about the new Connor Sport car? Do you think it's going to stack up against the competition? Naomi, that is too soon to tell, but if the car's got any chance of topping the podium, then I am the guy guy who's gonna get us there. You can tell the front runners to keep their eyes on their mirrors because it won't be long before I am gunning for them. <laughs> Devin, it's good to see you back on the track, mate. I'm sure you're gonna have a great season. Sorry, on the just track. pulling into the track. I gotta run. Ciao, bye. And now let's bring out a very special guest to talk about how the car was built, the inspiration, the design, and the aspiration. Please give a massive warm welcome to the Senior Vice President of Connor Sport, Tim Fellows. Ah. Welcome, Tim. Thank you so much for coming. Don't the show. Man. You know how busy you must be at the moment. Thanks, Naomi. Hey, Dirk, how exciting is this? It's absolutely brilliant to be here and to have you on the show. I'd love to know how you're feeling right now, getting so close to the car reveal. Pretty emotional, to be honest. Well, we can completely understand that, so we won't keep you waiting any longer because it is the moment that you've all been waiting for, the moment we've been highly anticipating. It's time to reveal the new team car, Connor Sport. Okay, let's have a gespannt. Cool gemacht, auf jeden Fall, Leute, ne? Ui, sieht cool aus. Geht schon fast Richtung Holm, äh, F1 Holm.
Tim, the car is looking absolutely brilliant. I can imagine you're only excited to finally have the covers off. I speak for everyone at Connor Sport here. Seeing all the hard work and dedication, the passion of the team, the quality of the engineering, the desire of the pit crews, just the commitment of everyone, it's truly inspiring. I, uh, I feel very proud. You should be very proud. Now, I'd love to know, what are your ambitions for this first season? What does a first successful season look like for your team? Well, I guess it's the same for us as everyone. The key will be performance. Then it's a bit of consistency, try and pick up a few points along the way. We'll develop the car uh, and the team, and we'll just keep pushing ourselves until we get to a point that we're all collectively happy out of where we want to be. I can only imagine the team confidence back at the factory sky high. How, how is it over there? I think we all just uh, we all just want to go racing. I mean, we've got a car that I feel can compete, and uh, we've got a chance of being right up there. Now tell me, I want to understand a little bit about the process of what it takes to get to where we are today. For sure, we started with our existing structure, and we went from there. You need a solid base to build from. And that's the engineering, uh, the software simulations, pit stop crew, etc. And then you add all the bits that give you a bit extra, those little bits of magic. Well, talking about those little bit of extra magic. Also, how do they cool out? No? How do they fit into the Connor Sport dream? And what's Devon been like to manage? Um, well, well, Devon is Devon. Uh, he's not everyone's cup of tea. He's highly opinionated. He's pretty ego driven. But he has given us something unique. His driver insight and he is so well respected in the F1 world, has helped us build this exceptional car. And with Devon, I think we've got a potential future world champion. Wow, fantastic. Well, Tim, it has been an absolute pleasure having you here, and I can only wish you luck for the, for the rest of the season. Thank you both so much for having me. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, well, now that we've heard the team's perspective, let's talk to an expert F1 commentator, co-founder of P1, and all-round superfan. Please welcome Matt Gallagher. Hi, Matt. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, before we get into anything, I must get your reaction on this brand new car. It's great, isn't it? Especially under the lights. It's a thing of beauty. How do you think it's going to perform on the track this season? Well, as always, with a new car on the grid, uh, it's exciting. But we know that they've signed a star driver, Devon Butler, and so it gives a very strong whiff at the ambition that this team want to achieve something this year. What do you reckon his prospects are this season? He is world champion material. Uh, with all the hype about him joining Connor Sport and leading the team, it might well be the making of him. Whatever happens, I am sure that the other teams are going to sit up and take notice. Wow, sit up and take notice, you say. Now, what do you think? Are you expecting some podiums in there? New teams and cars, they, they need a bit of time to gel. But from where I'm sitting, or standing, I guess, and looking at the teams further down the table, this team very much has a chance of, of being a contender, but we'll have to wait and see. It would be nice to see another team giving more established teams a, a real run for their money this year. It certainly will, and we can't wait to see it. Matt, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us today. Okay, well we are all ich drück mal kurz Pause, wir gucken gleich mal weiter, Leute. Ich will das mal äh, ganz kurz sagen. Es ist eine witzige Idee auf jeden Fall von Code Masters. Äh, ich komme hier gerade wirklich so vor, als wäre ich in meinem Livestream und würde mir Ferrari angucken. Würde mir Red Bull angucken. So wie ich es immer mache seit drei Jahren mit meinen Jungs und Mädels auf Twitch. Kommt da gerne vorbei. Und deswegen finde ich das ja geil gemacht. Und ich muss sagen, das Auto sieht wirklich sehr, sehr cool aus. Ja, also muss ich schon ganz ehrlich sagen, sehr, sehr cool. Einziges, wenn wir nochmal ganz... Wir gucken uns gleich noch das Ende an, Leute. Wenn wir ganz kurz nochmal zu dem Kollegen hier zurückgehen. Ähm, hier. Dann seht ihr doch, ähm, hier, das sieht echt so cool aus. Es wirkt wirklich, als wäre er so Teamchef und was weiß ich was. Aber Leute, ganz ehrlich, es gibt ja ein, auch ein fiktives Team bei mir beim F1 Community Cup. Und ganz ehrlich, an dieses wunderschöne Trikot von Brohox Racing, ja, da kommt das nicht ran, Digi. Warte mal, ich muss es ordentlich machen. So, ja, hier, schaut mal, <lacht> das ist, das ist Pro Hawks Racing, Leute, das ist doch auch hier, Dico, die Nummer 8, darf nicht fehlen, <lacht> nur mal so ein Raum, und äh, wir gucken uns noch was ändern, weil ich hoffe doch, dass wir noch ein Release-Datum oder sowas bekommen. And do you know what, Dirk, I cannot wait to see how this super cool new F1 car delivers on track. They have everything in place and all the right ingredients to fight for the points and podiums. Now the checkered flag is flying on this show, but there is still plenty more F1 news coming up. So keep your visors up and your eyes peeled for more high octane news. Thank you for watching and we will see you very soon. Oh!
Am 1. Mai! Oha! Am 1. Mai gibt's was, Leute! 1. Mai steht hier hinten. Ich muss meine Cam verschieben. Hier, offizielles Ding geht am 1. Mai los. Ja, holla die Waldfee. Dann müssen wir mal gucken, ob ich da überhaupt News machen kann, denn da geht unsere Olympics los. Ähm... Okay, gut zu wissen, ne? Also, da ist Feiertag, da können wir uns drauf vorbereiten. News-Videos wird es auf jeden Fall geben. Wir können jetzt auch noch mal eine Sache machen, weil es anscheinend jetzt noch gar kein... Ähm da seht ihr jetzt folgendes, Leute. Wenn ich hier drauf klicke, dann äh, seht ihr, passiert hier überhaupt nichts. Ähm, das heißt, wir müssen wirklich auf den Montag warten, was da passiert. Am 1. Mai geht's also los. Ich hätte es euch, wie gesagt, gerne auf Deutsch gezeigt. Zeigt. Es gibt nichts auf Deutsch, äh, finde ich schade sowas, weil ich glaube, das würde dann für uns auch ein bisschen geiler rüberkommen. Ich glaube, die meisten von uns haben es, denke ich, verstanden. Und äh, ja, ich wollte halt eine Re live reaction machen. Also falls ihr jetzt sagt, oh, Diku, das war jetzt aber langweilig, dass du dieses Video gebracht hast. Ey, ich hab's nicht gewusst, dass das so wird. Ich dachte, eine live reaction ist eine live reaction da weiß man nicht, ob was einem zukommt. <lacht> also, kann man jetzt sehen, wie man mag, ne? Bin gespannt, was du drunter schreibst. Dann sehen wir uns bei den nächsten News. Mach's gut. Ciao.